Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, back with more Legends of Eidolon, and we're taking a look at the Goblin Gorefest Totem today. Goblin Gorefest is the level 1 totem used in worship, and it is located in the World 1 map in Forest Outskirts. This totem does provide forest souls upon spending your worship charge or completing the tower defense waves. I have a much more detailed guide on worship and how to improve your stats and increase your efficiency linked in the description below. But for this guide, I am using my hunter and the main talent points you need to spec into are the stop right there talent, which immobilizes monsters around you. The higher the level this talent is, the longer the route takes effect for. Also 360 no scope, which can hit multiple enemies. Don't worry too much about the damage uh, as damage and tower defense is capped at one damage per attack. But next in tab two, you wanna look at Kung Fu Kick as this pushes back all nearby monsters and the higher the level this is, the farther it pushes back. It can be very helpful for keeping mobs near your towers for a longer period of time. Lastly would be Piercing Arrow as it shoots and hits multiple enemies. Uh, just make sure you level it up to enough to hit it all four monsters here. But with all that in mind, I am going to be showing you one of the more effective builds that I've found up to this point. Please keep in mind that this is only one of the builds and there are many other ways to place towers to complete these waves. But let's get started. So to summon the tower defense, you need to click on the totem and then select the summon button here. And all these menus will pop up and we're gonna start placing our towers. The first few towers we wanna summon are some fireball towers and some frost towers here. And these enemies will start going down fairly quickly. So keep in mind that early wave, you may need to shoot some of these. Don't worry about it too much. So from here, if you have plenty of spare points left over, I like to start summoning a few towers on the bottom here, a couple more fireballs down at the bottom. This just ensures that if anything does happen to get past these first few towers and early waves, that we still take care of them before they get to the totem. So we're just waiting on points now at this section. You can start upgrading towers at this point if needed, um, but I like to keep in mind that the damage is actually distributed better with more towers early game. So, we're really waiting to get some of these party towers out next, and that should be next wave. So this boss is coming. This is kind of a mini boss in the early game, but the boss waves are actually on wave 10. All right, so we can get our first party tower. I like to place it over here. As you can see, the big circle around it shows you how far it's in range. So this party tower actually does nothing for us until we get it to level five. So we do wanna level this up as soon as possible. But the main reason that I have this here is actually for placement for the next tower that we wanna put out. But we're gonna go ahead and level this up for now. Keep in mind, if you're not going to take this to level 5, do not waste your points on it, as level 5 is when this does anything for us. Okay, so we got level 5, and any party defense towers, you want to make sure you're using the other towers in range get more speed. The other one is actually not working at this time. All right, so all of my towers now have that more attack speed, which means monsters will die much quicker. Okay, so now we can place a few more towers. My next priority would be your Kraken Tower to start here. This helps keep enemies under our towers longer. And then we want two more Fireball Towers on the bottom here. So at this point, you can choose between either waiting for the next towers or you can start upgrading some of these towers on the top. Your priority is going to be your Fireball Towers. So we'll level one of these up to level five in just a second here. Summon a few more waves and there's level five. So 
on your fireball towers, your priority is always going to be number one, getting the 20% bigger explosion radius. And then anytime after you have this one, you want to choose trait A. So trait B first and then trait A, always on your fireball towers, always. For your frozen towers, we're going to level one of these up. And your priority is always on trait B. Never select trait A as it's really not worth it. So just take these trait Bs. So we're going to speed up through a few more waves here and show you the placement for the rest of the towers in just a minute. All right, so we've got plenty of points now and we're going to place the last few towers. These are all actually going to be party towers. So we want to have a party tower up top, a party tower on the bottom, another party tower. And from here, you should be able to get to at least wave 60 using just this setup. So from here, the last things you can do are just adding more party towers and upgrading all of your towers to the highest level possible, getting these to level 10 respectively, and then keeping your party towers upgraded as much as possible for this attack speed, as this attack speed does stack even multiple times and you can get these towers down to a half a second on its attack speed. Last note to keep in mind, the later waves can be pretty overwhelming, so make sure you keep upgrading those towers, and in particular your primary attackers and your party towers, as you will need a ton of damage and attack speed. Also make sure you're using the roots and your knockbacks as often as you can to make sure they stay in range of your towers for as long as possible. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this type of content, and a huge shout out to our Patreon members that support the work we do. Thank you from all of us here at Nocturne Gaming. If you would like to become a patron and get some added benefits, check out the link in the description. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave them down below for me, and we'll see you next time.